chapter 4, problem 17, is a projectile motion problem. How do you think I'm going to require that we solve this projectile motion problem? What do you think I'm going to make sure that you can do in this particular problem? Evan. Um, you're going to have to use vectors. Unit vectors, yes. You're going to use the vector format to solve this problem. Good. Sam, can you please read? And Andrew, can you please translate? A ball is tossed from an upper story window of a building. The ball is given an initial ball velocity of 8.00 meters per second at an angle of 20 degrees lower than the horizontal. It strikes the ground three seconds later. Hey, I'm sorry. I think we might have missed something. Andrew, you're translating, right? Oh. I'm Carlo. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, that's my fault. <laughs> no, I, I totally understand. I apologize. I'll work on it. I meant Carlone. I apologize. Carlone, let's start over, Sam. All right. I have a building, by the way. Um, a ball is tossed from an upper story window of a building. The ball is given an initial velocity of 8 meters per second and it can go 20 degrees below the horizontal. Stop. Uh, velocity initial equals 8 meters per second and then it goes 20 degrees below the horizontal. Okay. Uh, it strikes the ground three seconds later. Stop. Um, change the time equals three seconds. Hey, how far horizontally from the base of the building does the ball strike the ground? Um, delta x equals question mark. Find the height from which the ball is thrown. Delta y equals question mark. And how uh, is hold up. Delta y is not quite the same as the height from which it was thrown. What's the difference here? He said delta y is what we're looking for, but it asks for the height from which it was thrown. Difference. Evan. Y initial? Uh, not quite. It has to do with that, but I'm looking for more specific. Same. Well, the delta y would be negative. The, the displacement in the y direction is going to be negative. The height initial is going to be a positive. There will be, the absolute values will be the same, but the height initial is what we're looking for. How long does it take the ball to reach a point 10 meters below the level of one? Delta T equals question mark at delta Y equals negative 10. Great. Okay. Carlon, any unit vectors once you just gave me? Uh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Not yet. We will make them. Okay, so now we have listed everything just kind of as a general statement the way it's listed in the book. Now we're going to convert it over to unit vectors. So let's just look at this. Start with a general equation for position as a function of time. Let's just look at this one to begin with. R final equals R initial plus velocity uh, initial times the delta, or times time, or times time, plus one half times the acceleration times time squared, where velocity initial and acceleration are both vectors as well. So we can start listing the vectors that we know. We have our final, our initial velocity initial and acceleration. Please give me one. Sarah. this is our initial velocity. We need the velocity initial in the x direction, the velocity initial in the y direction. Or oh. <laughs> ah, the, we need the velocity initial in the x direction, velocity initial in the y direction. Yes. How are we going to figure those out? Take a look. Let me do this. 
velocity initial in the x direction, i, plus velocity initial in the y direction, j. Let's just do that, right? So now you're going to substitute in what you know for velocity initial in the x direction. Go ahead. times i plus plus uh, velocity initial times cosine theta j. Okay. okay. So now we have these. Um, what did switching around? Um, so I don't know what she said. Is that what you think? I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. There. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so sine needs to be uh, for the y. Cosine needs to be for the so we have numbers here, 8 times a cosine of 20i plus 8 times a sine of 20j. Benedict. There needs to be a negative. Where? Uh, negative 8 sine 20 If we have, we know the initial velocity is down, so Right here, we can identify, sure, we know it's down, so we should add a negative here. I'll just put that so we can identify that that initial velocity in the y direction was down. Good. So I need numbers now. The initial velocity, please, 8 cosine 20. 7.517541. 5.517541. Five two is plenty. Times i minus. By four. By four. Okay. Um, 2.73616. J, and at this point, I will identify because we have numbers in here, meters per second. We have now our initial velocity as a vector. We need other known variables. Um, what else do we know? We have acceleration. Okay. I'm going to just make it clear again, but yes, absolutely, we have 0i minus 9.8 uh, j, and that's in meters per second squared. Again, just make it clear that the acceleration to x direction is equal to 0. More. There are more that we know or have to define. Hello? Uh, our initial is equal to 0. So our initial, we need to decide what our position initial is. You could set your position initial up here to be zero. I prefer to actually look at it right here as this is our zero, zero location, and this is our x, and this is our y. So in terms of that, what is the initial position big? Uh, position initial equals Zero i plus y j. In other words, we're looking for y for part b. What is our position final? What's the position final of this object? Uh, maybe? Zero j, because at the end it ends with a y value of zero. So this is zero j. So coming back to our original equation, we can now substitute into this. We know position final, which is x i, is equal to position initial, which is y j, plus the velocity initial, which was seven point five one seven five four i minus 2.73616j multiplied by our time, which is what we're solving for, right? No, actually, we know the time. I'm sorry, it's three seconds. Our time, which is three seconds, uh, plus one half times our acceleration, which is negative 9.8j, multiplied by our time squared, which is three squared. So, x and x i equals y j plus uh, seven point five one seven five four times three, please. Twenty two point 
0.55262. And that's I minus two point seven three six one six times three. Um, eight point two oh eight four eight. And that's J plus no minus one half times nine point eight times three squared. Negative 44.1 J. 44.1 J. J, okay. All right, so now we have X I equals Y J plus, and we still have 22.55262 I, but now we have something different for our J. Combine those, please. Negative 54.1 I'll put 8 for 8, that's fine. Okay. So now, we pretty much have our answer. Right? We can just look at the eyes, for example. When we just look at the eyes, we get x equals 22.55262. In other words, x is 22.6 meters. We can just look at the j's. 0 equals y times j minus 52, or y, 52.308. Or 2.30848, or y is 52.3 meters. 